everybody and welcome to this podcast that I have decided to do for no reason. So, today with me I have two very nice women, Elizabeth Katie Stanton and Lucretia Mott. Hi, thank you for having us. Hello. So, these two started the first women's rights movement in America during July 1848. They organized the Women's Suffrage Movement in Seneca Falls, New York, also called the Seneca Falls Convention. Could you could you tell me what uh, what suffrage means? Well, suffrage means the right to, to vote in political elections. Ah, I see. So the Women's Suffrage Movement, as I recently found out, was actually called the National Woman Suffrage Association, or or NWSA, correct? Yes. I see. The convention drew over 300 people, mostly women. Could you tell me why you started this movement? Well, women during our time wanted to be treated as individuals, not dependents of men. We wanted more employment and education opportunities. So, we organized this convention to achieve voting rights for women by means of what is called a Congressional Amendment to the Constitution. Yes, and after two days of discussion and debate, 68 women and 32 men signed what was called a Declaration of Sentiments. Very noble. The Seneca Falls Women's Rights Convention marked the beginning of the first women's rights movement in the United States. The women's suffrage movement was also known as the women's liberation movement. The bill was introduced to Congress in 1878 and finally certified 42 years later in 1920 when women were allowed to vote. Yes, however, we have a few more fun facts about the women's rights movements across the world. So, as everyone knows, the French Revolution was about redefining the nature of political powers and making a new government, but it was, in part, about women's rights. But it was mostly about political and government problems and issues. Interesting. Now, I heard about, I heard some other things that you did, Elizabeth, reasons that you created this movement. Could could you tell me more about this? Of course. As an abolitionist myself, I was outraged when the organizers of the convention denied official standing to women delegates, including, well, Lucretia, who was actually there with her husband. From this experience, the two of us vowed to work for more equal rights for women. We opposed the 14th and 15th Amendments to the U.S. Constitution, which gave voting rights to all men, but did not extend the franchise to women. Our stance led to a tear with the other women, women suffragists and prompted us to found the National Women Suffrage Association in 1869. Interesting. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening, and I would like to thank Miss Elizabeth Katie Stanton and Lucretia Mott for joining me here today. I wish you, the both of you, the best of luck with your endeavors. Now, goodbye.